Hi, I'm Ankush Chopra, a professor of business strategy here at Babson College. I have been involved with innovation for over 15 years, first as a practitioner and now as an academic. And I'm here to talk about a fascinating phenomena that I discovered and researched for many years now. We know that innovation is the holy grail of business. Look around yourself and you will notice that firms that lead their industries reach that position through innovation. Look at Google, Microsoft and Apple and you will notice this commonality. At the same time, firms that fail to innovate lose significant position and sometimes die. So you would agree that firms must pursue innovation to enhance profits. In light of this obvious fact that innovation is good for firms, it would surprise you to know that some innovations are actually very bad for firms. Instead of enhancing profits of firms, they destroy profits. Since they do exactly opposite of what we expect of them, I have named them rogue innovations. Some examples would make this phenomena clearer. Historically, pearls have been among the most expensive jewels. A pearl was a rare creation, as not every oyster had a pearl in it. However, the innovation of cultured pearls allowed pearl farmers to manufacture pearls in their backyard. These cultured pearls were no different from natural pearls. You can imagine the impact of this innovation. Abundant supply of pearls drove down prices and profits of pearl hunters. Similarly, in the mutual funds industry, index fund was a rogue innovation. If index funds replaced all actively managed funds, the established firms would see a dramatic decline in their profits. In wristwatches, Quartz watch was a rogue innovation that led to a significant decline in profits of Swiss watch firms. In camera industry, digital camera eliminated the need for film and drove down profits of firms. The list of rogue innovations is a very long list and innovations go rogue in many ways. It is important to note that such innovations do not necessarily provide an inferior product or involve a major technological change. A key challenge for firms facing a rogue innovation is choosing between two very difficult options. They could embrace the innovation or they could avoid it. If they embrace the innovation, they would voluntarily reduce their profits. On the other hand, if they avoid it, they face an uncertain fate. If the innovation fails, they may lose nothing. If the innovation succeeds, they may be driven out of business. These firms are stuck between proverbial rock and a hard place. The consequences of these innovations are devastating. More than half the Swiss watch firms disappeared due to quartz watches. Thousands of people lost their jobs. A household name like Polaroid went out of business. And a large established firm such as Kodak lost significant money. But all is not lost because I have some good news for you. I've been studying how firms respond to rogue innovations for many years. I found that some firms were able to manage these innovations successfully, although most firms failed to handle rogue innovations. Some of the key lessons from my research are as follows. Number one, firms must know the time window they have to respond to such an innovation. What you can do in a year or in five years is very different from what you can do in 20 years. Swiss watch firms had less than 10 years to respond, whereas camera firms had 20 years to respond. Number two, firms must notice all that is changing in their industry because these trends provide them major opportunities. Kodak missed the PC revolution trend initially and the internet trend later on, and we know what the result was. Number three, you have to create a third option that is better than either embracing or avoiding a rogue innovation. To know more about rogue innovations and how to deal with them, go to tamingrogueinnovations.com. See you there.